Tonight we're out here at, in southern Indiana at the Corrales Rotisserie Chicken. This used to be an old Taco Bell. Some of you might, this might look familiar to some of you. It used to be an old Taco Bell. And check this out. I thought it looked kind of cool with the signage. This is a Mr. Gaddy's Buffet. Looks like a cool place to review, actually. I don't even know if that place is open still. But what's really cool is check out this Texas Roadhouse down here. I've never seen a Texas Roadhouse in a strip mall like that, especially with that signage. So, yeah, we'll be back in a minute here. We're going to check this place out right off of this busy Lewis and Clark Parkway in southern Indiana. This used to be an old Taco Bell for all y'all who are wondering. Yeah, they painted it orange, but we're going to see what we get into here in a minute. I wish this camera had smell of vision because it smells amazing. I think it's coming from this place. It just smells delicious. You come up here and check out their hours, of course. So it looks like 11 to 8 every day except for Saturday and Sunday. And we'll see what we're going to do. Pretty cool. You know, I love this. And the food finally got here, and we'll kind of zoom on this. This is the um, this is the fourth meat white chicken, all white chicken. I think it's nine seventy five. And for the sides, we ended up getting the soup. This is the chicken, fourth meat white chicken, chicken noodle soup. And then I think these are yucca fries or plantains. Take a look at those yucca fries and plantains. And this is dish number two. We got the fourth meat white chicken once again, nine seventy-five. Look at that glaze. And we got double fries. We went with the um, sweet potato fries, which are amazing, and the normal fries. So definitely looking forward to getting in this here in just a minute. Here. Look at that. This one looks amazing. All right, so we'll go ahead and start things off. This is the, um, like I said fourth meat, all white meat, chicken, nine seventy five with two sides, I believe, for a fourth pound, a fourth of a chicken. Um, comes with two different kinds of fries. We ended up getting the um, sweet potato, but then we also got, um, on top of the sweet potato, we got the normal regular fries. Mm. Both fries are really good. Mm -hmm. We'll see what these sauces taste like. Which one are you gonna try? Um, this is the, uh, they actually don't say what's in them. This is the ahi amarillo sauce. Um, I'm wondering what's in this one. We'll try it. The yellow sauce. Mm -hmm. You like it? Mm. Come on, like this one. Yeah, he's only the chicken. Try that one, Boo That's a good sauce. It's yellow sauce. This is the ahi amarillo. Look at that sauce. Do you like that one? These are fresh hand-cut fries. These fries actually have the, um, they still have the skin on them. I definitely love the branding here. They got some pretty dope branding. Yeah, I just like it. I don't know. Pretty. But yeah, I'm definitely in love with the branding here. Come check it out. Pretty cool. Maybe on a pretty cool carpet. And yeah, see what we can get into. Be back in a minute. And I thought I'd show you guys. This is just so cool. Look at this. This is chicken. This is what they call a rotisserie chicken. You can check this out. Pretty incredible, it's like mesmerizing. And I wish you all could smell this because it smells fantastic. You know, it's just so mesmerizing. Got that wood theme back there. It smells absolutely delicious. And you can kind of see the impacts, you know, like I said, it used to be a Taco Bell. You got the drive through and looks like they're not using it. Maybe they are, I'm not sure, but yeah. Going back to this, um, 
ahi amaria. Very good. As far as the fries go, the sweet potato is really good. Both of them keep the skin on. That's how I like, mommy. They both got the skin on. Fresh hand cut fries. Yummy yellow sauce. Aji Amaria. Amaria. I don't know what's in this. It's hard to describe it. Amarillo sauce. I'm not sure what's in this one. It's not spicy. It's really good. I'm personally a big fan of the, although I like the sweet potato fries, I just like the regular fries. So that's the Aji Amaria. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and try the, um, I'm gonna try one of these. This is the, um, this is a plantain. And this is a Peruvian restaurant. They're known for plantains. Is this a plantain or is it called a yuca fry? And a plantain, for those of you that don't know, a plantain is like a, um, it's almost like a banana. It's like a little bit less sweet banana. So it's a sweet treat. And this looks like it's caramelized. I think this isn't deep fried. This is like um, caramelized, sauteed. Very good. My wife ended up going with the um, a fourth meat white chicken. She got the yuca fries. The plantain and the soup, which we'll get into here in a second. But yeah, so that was okay. I mean, it was very sweet. It tastes like a banana. Almost like a, if you were to saute up a banana. Caramelize it with sugar. That's what it tastes like. Uh, we've got actually two more sauces we're gonna do. This is the chipotle. This one's hot, right? This one's hot, spicy. This is the chipotle ranch sauce. I'm guessing this one's gonna be a little bit spicier. It's got a little kick to it. We'll see what it tastes like. Mm. Wow. And all of these sauces, just so you know, they're all mayo-based. I think they're cream, they have like a crema. But this, man, this one's good. I like this, so far I like the yellow one a little bit better. And it looks like, he likes the yellow sauce too. I'm definitely a bigger fan of the, um, the normal fries. Not very spicy at all. The last one is the green sauce. I think this one's got cilantro in it. I'm pretty confident. And like I said earlier, mm -hmm. cilantro and lime. This one's a uh, cilantro and lime. Green sauce, refreshing. Goes super well with these fries. It goes super, super well with the fries. Kind of having a community dinner here. A little bit of a community dinner tonight. This is a French. There's a spicy one. You want it? And these are, they give you healthy portions. I think I showed you. I mean, they don't skimp. They give you pretty healthy, pretty healthy portions here. Um, they're definitely not skimping on this stuff. So when you come here, and that's the reason why I like to get double fries. You'll, for those of you who are wondering, oh, it's not very healthy, you know. Well, the reason why I get the double fry is because um, you can't make fries at home. Like you can make the, they got the rice, they got the beans, they got the broccoli. You can make all that at home. But when it comes to the fries, it's very hard to deep fry it. You have to get a fryer, if you deep fry it at home, it's difficult to do, so. And as far as drink options go, they do have Pepsi products. Looks like they even got Big Red, which for whatever reason you don't see up north. They got Dr. Pepper, you can get some Crush, Mountain Dew, water, Pepsi. They do have sweet tea. And this place is, comes with some serious accolades. Rafael DiPello is the owner. Um, this one opened in April 2022 and they made the news. The News and Tribune. And I think that's, I think that's Rafael. 
is one of six locations. Definitely looking forward to getting some food here. And you come over here and they do have different drinks. Um, looks like they got some, not sure if these are Peruvian colas. Looks like it's Peruvian drinks and then the sauces, which are amazing. They got Chipotle Ranch, a green sauce, and you can actually buy these. Amarillo, and you can buy these if you want. Looks like they're selling them. You can buy them for five bucks and it tastes really good. And they got some dessert options. You come over here, they got tiramisu. They got flan and some more of this Inca Cola. I'm not really sure how that, that's an Inca Cola, so. But yeah, that's the, that's the reason, really, is why I like to get the pies. And here's that soup. I don't know if you can see this soup. Yeah, Did it come with a spoon? No. Well, you know what? We might have to go Viking style here with it. And this soup that comes with, um, this one. it's kind of unique. It's got like Not a, spicy. it's got rice. It's got whole chicken, of course. Not spicy. No. Oh my gosh. And it's got like onions or chives in it. Look at that. Obviously, not really delicious. Oh my gosh. Chicken broth. So, those were two hitters, those two sides. We got the, um, you can't go wrong when it comes to two sides, get the, um, this chicken noodle soup. It's got rice, cilantro, chicken noodle, really good. Once again, you come back here, and I just thought I'd get this so cool. Look at this branding. Look how awesome that branding is. Oh, you can get selfies here. I see it's a selfie cam. So there you go. You can get a selfie. Pretty cool. And the potties are spick and span. Spick and span. I only show potties that are cleaner as a whistle. Some of you might know that by now, but yeah. Love the modern art in here. So these are the potties. They definitely did some serious remodeling though. I mean, if we're being honest here, this used to be a Taco Bell. And when it comes to Taco Bell, you're not gonna be really expecting much from a T-Bell. But yeah. So waiting on the food you get here, beautiful store. And that's what it looks like here at Corrales Rotisserie Chicken. And it is open concept too, but I wanted to show a little bit of the menu pretty cool you can get you know they have tons of different options appetizers tostones yuca bites chicken empanadas soup and salad you even got a kid's meal there um but there's a soup and salad you come over here you got chicken you can get beverages build your own bowls sandwiches and wraps and then you can even get sides so quite a bit of sides looks amazing so yeah this is kind of the operation and we'll be back in a minute here once the food gets here, but this is kind of what it looks like. So, oh, they also have other drink options too. Going back to those drinks, if you want to get a, you know, you can get a Jaritos. You can also get some fountain drinks. It looks like lemonade, so. But yeah, we'll be back in a minute. And this is kind of the interior, trying not to get too many people in here, but you know, this is a little bit of what the, the interior of the restaurant looks like. So yeah, we'll be back in a minute when the food gets here. You got a beautiful view. I want to watch the cars go by out there, but yeah, this is kind of, this is kind of what it looks like here, so, and they do have a TV. 
So if you want to catch the game, watch TV, it's right there. Just working our way through there. It's just so tender. I mean, you can replicate this. Sure, you can go to Kroger, you can go to Costco, you know, you can get a chicken. You like it? A rotisserie chicken. But you can't replicate the seasoning. It might be a little hot, so. It just tastes real good. to replicate the flavor of this chicken and the crispiness of the skin look at that skin it's the crispness that's what tastes really good eh. i say this but whether it's chicken or barbecue the mark of a real high quality meat whether it's chicken or barbecue is if you don't need to use um sauce with it and although these sauces are some of the best sauces i've ever had You really don't need to use sauce. These are good. My favorite one is this one. It's the best one, in my opinion. It just tastes so good. Refreshing, creamy, good. But no, with this chicken, it's so tender, so juicy. You don't need. You don't need a sauce. So, you really don't need a sauce. And it just, no it just falls right at the bowl. So, we're gonna work on this, we'll be back in a minute. Mama. This chicken. I can't really say enough about this chicken. Um, I mean, this chicken is not dry, it's, it's very moist and tender. And if you want to add sauce to it, to help accentuate it, you can, you can if you want. My point is it doesn't need it. It really doesn't need it. You don't need to hang it. You just eat it straight up no sauce but it's kind of like a dilemma in your face because you know look at that it's like a dilemma you face because the chicken's so good but the sauce is also so good so it's like what do you do i guess the happy medium is just to use the sauce for the fries you know Which I suppose you could do. And then just eat the chicken raw. You know, kind of a best of both worlds approach. But, yeah, so we're gonna work on this. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below, share this video with a friend. We got a lot more food that's coming up, so stay tuned. We're just scratching the surface. We are just scratching the surface on this chicken. Are you done, Taylor? Mm -hmm. Are you done? No. Don't go away. Stay tuned. Wait until the end. We have a special announcement coming up. Um, they actually have games as well. So for those that are kids, they've got Double Bubble, 25 cents, and they've also got some fun games in there, which I would love to get into. So we'll see if we can play some of those and win. But yeah, this is kind of what it looks like in here. Corrales Rotisserie Chicken. And we'll talk about here as we're slowly working our way through this chicken. So good, so tender, so juicy. If you're ever in the area, try this out. You can't go wrong with the yellow sauce. I'm personally a sucker for the sauces. I love the yellow sauce. I mean, all the sauces are really good, but the, it's what makes it.
so you can actually be notified of videos when they come out. But with that being said, we'll see you next time.